Today I'm gonna to share with you how to create your own Instagram story fill in the blank. So stick around. What's up everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your story. Today I'm going to walk you through how you can create Instagram story fill in the blanks like these right here. You might see these around on social media. Well, today I'm gonna walk you through how you can create those using Adobe Spark. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I went ahead and launched Adobe Spark on my computer here. Now you can do this on your mobile device just as easily, but at first starting on the computer, there are several options available on the web version that aren't available yet on the mobile device. So I'll show you that here. So let's go ahead and start by clicking on the blue plus sign and choose custom size graphic. And since we're talking about Instagram story, there's a already option here to choose from, which is 1080 by 1920. If you want to know the exact sizes, we'll click on next. And what we can start with is by adding a background color or what we could choose is a background. I'll go ahead and start with a background color. So if I click here on the shape, I can go ahead and click on color here and choose like my brand colors. So I'll click this one here as my main background color. And I can use this one for my first Instagram story fill in the blank. Now, as I mentioned, you can also add a background. What you could do here is on the left hand side is choose backgrounds. And there are a ton of these backgrounds that you can use, which are really cool. I think this will look great for Instagram story fill in the blanks. There's some seasonal ones, some trending backgrounds, just depends on whatever you want. If you want kind of a nature looking background, chromatic, so many to choose from. Let's go with a photo realistic background and just see what happens. Let's choose a kind of bokeh background here. There's multiple ones. Let's see here. Let's go with, um, let's try that one there and see what it looks like. So, okay, right, there it is right there. Now, what I'm going to do here is on the right hand side is choose add to background what will happen is it will fill the whole background with that background so there it is it's already kind of locked to the background so it won't move i can go ahead and add other pieces to this so let's go ahead and do that what i like about using spark is that you can brand your own fill in the blank so if you have a logo you have something to show what your brand your company what your identity whatever it is you can add it here. So I'm going to go to logos here and choose my logo to add here, which will be that one there. And then I can go ahead and place that wherever I need it to be. So let me resize it and probably leave it right there in the lower right hand corner. Just depends on where you want it to be. Use your keys, your arrow keys up or down to kind of adjust it. Once you've chosen the size, I'll go ahead and leave it right there. And if I want to, I can also change the opacity, make it less obvious, but you know, let's go ahead and leave it 100% opacity. So the next step is to add some of those fill in the blank boxes or shapes. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and click on icons over here and search for a shape. So I'm going to choose, let's say rectangle. My next step here is to find the rectangle, the one I wanna use. There are some with rounded corners. There are some with sharp corners, just depends whatever you want it to be. Let's go ahead and kind of dig through here and search for one. I'm going to go ahead and probably go with just a regular rectangle here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll align it center there. And what I'll do here is change the color. I want to go with a white. That'll work there. And the next step here to kind of save me some time is what I'll do is click on duplicate. And then I can go ahead and just move that down there. And then this is kind of like a cheat here or a hack is hold the shift key and then click the second one. So now I have both of those selected and I can hit duplicate once again. So now I have the next set here and we'll kind of have to eyeball it here. Get it as close, maybe use my arrow keys. That looks pretty good there. And then maybe bring it down some, adjust this one a bit give it a little bit more space because I want to add some text in between there. So that looks pretty close. Maybe bring this one down a bit more. It just depends what you'll need to do is just kind of play with it here. Adjust it as you go. Probably we'll add one more here. So let's duplicate once more. We'll bring that down and you'll see it's aligned center. 
and use my arrow key, bring that down once again. And just to be sure, I'll select all of them and over here, just make sure they're aligned to center and they are. So I'll go ahead and do this here is group. So now all those five rectangles are grouped. So whenever I move it, they all move together. Now that I've got the fill in the blank boxes ready to go, what I'll do is add a title or a main question or theme, and then I'll add some sub questions for each of those fill in blanks. What I'll do here now is click on text and I can add my own text, but I'm going to show you here. There's some templates to choose from, which have some really neat looking fonts, the way they're set up They're They're organized like this one right here. If not now, when uh, this one up here at the top, which says we are open. I'm going to choose this one here. I kind of like this. If not now, when now it is already set up with certain uh, text, but you can go ahead and edit that. What I'm going to do here is zoom in here. So let's go to, let's say 100. That way we can see it a little better. Now these template texts are already grouped. So you can see up here on the right hand side, it says ungroup it. I don't want to do that. I want to leave it intact. What I'll do here is just click into each of these attributes or objects within here. And like for right here, that little rainbow there, it is orange, but I want to make that maybe my brand color here. See if it looks for maybe try the red. Eh, we'll leave it red there. That looks pretty good. Now where it says, if not now, when I'm going to change that, if not. So what I'll have to do is kind of click through to make sure I choose that one. And then I will double click it. So there it says, if not now, so let me change that what is yours. There we go. So now I want to change this main text where it says when, and I'm going to click here, double click. So now I see when, and we'll do favorites. And if you notice it was uppercase for the first letter and lowercase for the rest. So you want to make sure and follow it. So it kind of remains the same. So here we go for favorites and click done. And now there we go favorites. And what I may do is just adjust this a little bit more so it fills out maybe I might rotate it just a bit. There we go. So I think it'll fit better that way. Maybe make it a little bit bigger and favorite. Maybe do that. Here we go. I'm, I'm making a little bit of adjustment to this, but that's fine. There we go. And now that way it kind of fits nicely right there in that kind of open spot between the letter F and the letter I maybe do a little bit of rotation, not too much maybe a little bit bigger. This is one of those fine tuning things. And now we'll just kind of adjust it like that. Cool. All right. So I've got my main question title. Now, what am I going to do for the next options there? Let me zoom out a bit, bring those out, Let's zoom back in. There we go. Now what I'll do is for each of those boxes or fill in spots, I'm going to add some text. So like, what is yours favorites? And so we'll do add text. So let's say, you know, I'm going super basic here. Favorite color, kind of one of those things to get to know people. So here is color and it'll kind of replicate the main fonts that have already been used in your title. Like for example, up here, let's, let's see what this font is. Dita bold. And so let's look at that one. Dita bold. See how it kind of remains the same. And I'm actually going to make that white. There we go. So let's make this just a bit smaller. Let me zoom in a little bit here. We'll make this smaller so it's visible. So let's see, favorite color, move it up some. Let's move this one down here. So this is favorite color. So now we got favorite snack. So I'll go through here and add multiple favorites and then we'll be right back. I've added the rest of the favorites. So I've got color, snack, food, book, and movie. You can change it whatever you want it to be. This is kind of what I'm going with. Now at the bottom, what I could do is actually, I'm going to rearrange my logo and put it down here. It's one of those things, if you are promoting your company or you're promoting kind of the work that you do, you want it to be visible, So we'll do that there. Maybe say a greeting or a thank you. Let's go ahead and duplicate that one. We'll bring it down here and I'll make it a little bit larger and maybe say something like, Thanks for sharing. So let's do, let me capitalize them all. Thanks for sharing. And we'll bring this down. 
and there we go. Now I've got this first fill in the blank completed. My next step is to click on download and save it as a PNG or JPEG. What I could do as well is close this out, go back to the main projects, then go to my mobile device like my iPhone here, and then open up Spark and download it right on my phone. Now my next step is to name this project. So I'm going to call this IG story fill in the blank FITV fill in the blank. I'm going to call this zero one. So as I start creating more, I'll just call the next one zero two zero three and so on. So let's click out here. Let's go ahead and let Spark save it and I'll go to projects and we'll see this one show up in my main project. So there it is right here. But here's what I want to show you is what I'll do is click on duplicate. So I'll create an extra one of these. And again, as I mentioned, we'll call this zero two click duplicate. Now that I've got a copy or duplicate created, all I will do is click on edit project, open the new one, the copy, which I had already renamed. We'll go ahead and click here where it says uh, remove background and it's going to show a plain color. I'll go in and choose a different background, something to promote something new, something different. Maybe let's try this one right here. And then what I can do next is add that to the background. We'll remove this cell here, delete that cell. So now I've got a new background here that I can use. So I can go through here change the color, change the style of the text, use a different one, go through here and customize it to make it look just the way you want it to. And that's how you can use Adobe Spark Post to create fill in the blanks to use for Instagram stories or pretty much any other social media site. If you're looking for a template to get started, go ahead and check out the ones I've linked in the description below. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and don't forget to click on the little bell to be notified for future videos. And please do share this video with others. Also, I look forward to seeing your fill in the blanks. Please do tag me when you do. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Be good to one another. Peace, I'm out.